I just liked working in television. So we had a, a NBC crew there, and so I was working with the best people in the business. So it was, it was kind of exciting. Know your audience, know what these kids are like. We had advisors in the beginning that were educators, that we, we had an idea about wh what the kids are into, what they're like, and then we just um, you know, went from there. The show was totally scripted, too. I wrote it with, with uh, Cassie Wolf, who was one of the stars of the show, and we, uh, we were able to knock these out. I mean, we did, did 52 of the ones that were syndicated, and of course, we did 10 years of them all. Was it, I won the uh, silver medal at the International Film Festival of New York City the second, as the second best children's show in the world, which I thought was pretty nice. And I guess the fact that, that one of the stars of the show, the kids show, is Catherine Hahn, who's become sort of a, a pretty big star right now. You know, I, we, I keep in touch with her. She was totally professional, you know, always. So she, she, I was proud of her and she always gives credit for, for what she learned working with um, Hickory Haddock, because we had all professional actors. I worked, when I worked in um, professional theater, I worked with major actors. You know, I, I wasn't even, I was also, besides doing PR and marketing, which I did both, for, for uh, uh, three different theaters at the time, Summerstock, and of course I did all the Hannah and all these other theaters. I guess it was, you know, we're, we're, we were working with Rock Hudson level actors. You know, I mean, these people were getting paid 40, 50, 60,000. I, you know, I worked with at least over, over 150 of, probably, actors that had TV shows or movies or Broadway. And then, uh, then of course, when I worked at Channel 3, I also worked as a, as a producer of um, not only kids shows, but also the talk shows. So I got a chance to meet a lot of uh, NBC people that would fly in from New York or Los Angeles. There were probably Eddie Murphy when he was 19 years old. I, I did spend time with him. So it's, it's, there were a lot of people. Well, I think my uncle for, for exposing me to television when I was really young, for one thing. I actually worked, eventually I worked multimedia job with him, the, a company he owned. I did that too. Uh, and also, I had Johnny Price at Music Carnival. This was a professional theater. And um, John Kenley um, at Kenley Players. Dr. Schmidt offered me this opportunity for one year to get out of television. Now, that was kind of tough. But I, I taught here before, and I really liked the students, and I really liked um, you know, Dr. Schmidt and all that. And it turns out it was an opportunity to, to work here. A very well-known school. You know, and because I taught three other school colleges before, or four, I think four, when you add another one. And I just thought this was a, a really nice place. Students were really smart and really good. And, and that's what I really liked about it. I teach a lot, a lot of writing classes because that's my experience too, as a playwright. And as I've had a few movies done, including one I wrote that was on Netflix for a while in the early days of Netflix. I think it was, I had some really major opportunities in both on the Broadway area and also um, in Hollywood and some major contacts and I didn't always follow through with them. Because I just thought, no, they're, when, they, when they're saying, we'll help you, we'll help you. I, I sort of just said, uh, I, did, I don't know if they really mean it. And that was really stupid. That's why I tell people, you know, I had some major contacts and I didn't follow through with them. I learned that, and that's why to this day I, I tell students, don't ever do that. That was dumb of me. Learn to write and watch TV, watch movies. That's what people don't do anymore. They don't watch enough. That's, that's, that's great advice. I do when I t I've taught playwriting for many years at the Clinton Playhouse. And the big thing I, I told the students, Keep reading plays, and that's what you'll learn, you know, see movies, it's so easy today. It's because the, you learn, you get a good understanding of how to tell stories. Write plays, I, I've got 16 published, that's what I